Hi, in this video I'm going to tell you the reason for building a data warehouse. A retail store wants to analyze your transaction data of past two years and wants to identify the behavior of consumer visiting its stores. The store wants to build a data warehouse to analyze the trends in such behavior. So our data warehouse size is going to be small and our domain is retail. The sales data mart will be built in two step process. In step one, the source data in the form of files will be loaded to staging area in an, in an as is fashion. In step two, data from the staging area will be loaded to data mart using various dimensions and fact load jobs in a clean and integrated manner. So we will be using Talent Open Studio 5.6 for this ETL purposes. The reason for following two step process is that it is more efficient to perform SQL queries when the data is in the form of relational tables rather than when the data is in the form of files. So we are going to receive six different types of data. Among these five will be our master data. So this will be loaded to our staging tables and all of these tables follow a standard naming convention that is stg underscore table name. Okay. And our fact, our transaction data that is coming from an OLTP system will be stored in an as is fashion under txn underscore sales table. Next is we are going to slice and dice the fact our fact data on the basis of six different dimension. So five different dimension will be loaded from the data coming from the master tables that is staging tables and six dimension that is team underscore times we are going to add ourselves. Now how this data loading operation is going to happen? All of the staging tables will be loaded in one single job and this action is going to be straight insert. All the dimension table will be loaded by different jobs and some of these jobs are SED type 1 and some are SED type 2. So dim underscore channels and dim underscore countries they are straight insert and they are SED type 1. So dim customers and dim products they are SED type 2 because we want to store the information or history of customers and products. Similarly dim promotion is going to be straight insert. And the last is our fact sales table which will be straight update and insert. Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate to you how to create a data model using Irving. Irving is a tool from Computer Associates. So in our data warehouse we need six different dimensions and one fact table. So we are going to create one entity for each of these tables. You can select the desired type of model by clicking on file and new and select the type of model you want as well as the database. So once you have selected the model you can create entities by clicking on click new entity button. Here you can specify the name of your entity as well as primary and secondary attributes. So once you have given some name to your entity you can define the data types of your attributes by double clicking this option. Here you can specify the type of data type for example for ID you can select as integer and for name you can select as string. You can also create your new domains by clicking on domain editor and specifying your new domains if you want. So once you have created the entities it's time to create a relationship between these entities. Relationships are of three types identifying, non-identifying and many to many. Since in our fact table we want keys of all of those dimensions so we are going to create identifying relationship. We can do so by clicking on this relationship button and dragging it from parent to the child. Likewise we can create a relationship for all of these dimension tables. We can also create other attributes of the fact apart from the primary keys of the dimension tables. So once we have done that, we can go to the physical part of our data model. There we can go to the action and forward engineer and schema button. Here you can preview the SQL which has been generated behind this data model. You can save this SQL and run it on the database or you can let Arvin automatically create the tables for you by clicking on this generate button and specify the username as well as connection string and password. 
So once you click on connect, all of this SQL script will be executed directly on the database level. So we can see all of these dimension tables has been created using Arvind scripts. We can see the data types by double clicking these tables and we can make sure that whatever we have specified has been created. Hi, in this video I am going to demonstrate you how to use talent to load staging tables, dimension tables as well as fact tables. So in our first job we are loading all of the staging tables using one single job. All of these staging tables are loaded one by one. We are also loading the transaction data which is coming from OLT system to the staging tables. So once we have loaded all of the staging tables we are going to load the dimension table one by one. So this job demonstrates you how to load SCD type 1 table. So in this particular case our channel table which is of SCD type 1 we are loading this using talent. So this is a three step process. In the first step we are generating a surrogate key by getting the max of the surrogate key from the dimension table. Similarly we are getting the count of the input records and once we have done that we are loading the dim underscore channels table. We can load that using tmap, we can set some another properties in tmap for example uh, current date as well as we can increment our surrogate key one by one. This, this process is similar to what we are going to use for countries as well as promotions. Now coming to SED type 2 table. There are two ways to load SED type 2 table either using wizard or without using wizard. So talent has component called T Oracle SCD which can help you configure your SCD job pretty easy. So in our first job, in our first process we are getting the count of in number of input records which we can store in our table and then in SCD type 2 we can configure that T Oracle SCD to use SCD type 2. So how we can do that? As you can see in T Oracle SCD component we can see we are going to apply type 2 fields in all of these columns because in our customer table anything of the customer can change either first name last name so we want to maintain history for all of those changes so I'm going to maintain the history using data warehouse uh, insert date and data warehouse end date as my date columns and I also I'm going to name my surrogate key as C underscore key in my data target database or in target table there are some fields which I can uh, left as such for example CDC flag and customer total on which I don't need to maintain SAD type 2. So let's just see the demonstration of SAD type 2. In my staging area I'm going to show you what is the records are there for customer ID cust underscore 1002. So if we run this job we see our customer first name and last name is Patrick Gray. Let's just update this customer last name. So we have one row updated as you can see here. You can commit this record and you can see whether the record has been updated or not. So the record has been updated as Patrick Khanna. We see that in our dimension table this record is still as Patrick Gray. Now we want to reflect the changes which we have done in staging area to our dimension area. So let's just run this talent job. So our data has been loaded. Let's just see the results in our dimension table. As you can see another record has been added with the customer key as 967. And we see that in data warehouse end date column we see that previous record end date has been marked as two days date and the latest records end date is null which is signifying that this is the record which is the current record. Similarly I can use the same SCD type 2 for other of the SCD type 2 tables. Now this first demonstration was using a wizard. I can also create my own SCD without using the wizard. Here I am going to create three output records. One is fresh record for which there is no, there was no data in the uh, dimension table and another one for SCD update and SCD insert. Now once we have loaded all of this dimension table, 
you can load the fact table using the talent job here we can see that we are applying lookup on all of the dimension tables dim underscore channels countries promotions customers products and time let's just see the configuration inside the t-map in the t-map firstly i am applying the join of all of these tables based on the incoming records from the transaction system as you can see that i am applying join on the customer table and the transaction table using customer code and from there i am fetching the surrogate key which i have generated in my previous jobs i am fetching that surrogate key onto my target table that is a fact table so here i am applying the join type also as my inner join and to make sure i always fetch the latest record i have specified the customer end date as null so that i always fetch the latest record so i repeat this step for rest of the tables as well i can also perform some calculations on the amount or some other columns like quantity sold and amount sold now since i am having very less data i better to do such calculations in the bi tool rather than on the talent tool so once we have developed this mapping or developed this job we can go to the oracle developer and see on the in our fact table that data has been loaded and we have all of the keys which we can use to join in our bi tool hi in this last section i am going to demonstrate to you how we can use a tableau to leverage the data which we have loaded on the fact table using talent and how we can do some slicing and dicing so tableau is a bi reporting tool okay so the first and foremost thing which you need to do is connect to a data source in a tableau you can do so by clicking on uh, connect to data source button here you can select the type of data source you have for example if you have oracle you can specify your server as well as username and password and the connection service so once you have done that all the schemas which are there under particular database and for which you have the access will be listed similarly you can select the tables as well so once you done that you can create or you can drag and drop all of these tables into the designer and tableau will automatically create a joins based on the common key you can also change the join type if you want to whether inner or left outer join in case tableau is not able to automatically identify the join you can always go back and uh, specify to talent that which uh, column on which column you want to join so all the columns of that particular two tables or whatever you have joined will be listed below as well as their data so talent will automatically uh, try to identify the type of uh, data is there for example in channel code this is string data in dim countries if you see this is the global sign so this tells you that this is a global data similarly for numeric data you will be having hash character here you can also show some or hide some fields which you don't need you can click on hide button and you can also create some aliases of some fields so once your data is selected and formatted as per your needs you can go to the worksheets to create your uh, data or to create your worksheets so here you can specify you can just drag and drop some elements which you need and you can dice the data based on your needs for example in this particular category i have identified that among my amount sold the maximum promotion happened through the seasonal season or seasonal category similarly i can identify the maximum selling product in my fact is that that is a laptop carrying case like it amounts to 27 percent of the total and the total quantity sold is also quite high as compared to other terms i can also analyze my data based on some countries so i can see a geographical map in tableau which tells me that the maximum sales happened in the united states so how you can create all of these worksheets you can click on plus button to create your worksheets in that you can just drag and drop elements which you need for example i can drag and drop on customer income level then uh, further analysis i can do based on custom gender and then i want to do analysis based on amount sold so i can just drag and drop that element 
so if I want to see some visualization I can click on show me button and select the type of visualization I want I can make the screen a little bigger to analyze if I want to see some percentage of total or like how much percentage is this particular category I can always drag and drop this particular element and change the type to percentage of total so right now it tells me the percentage across a table let's see if I want to get the percentage of table across a particular bar I can always change the calculation mode table across down so this is how you can build various types of visualization I can also sort this bar if you want to ascending or descending mode so likewise if you have created all of these worksheets you can build a dashboard out of this so this is how my dashboard which I have uh, latestly built uh, looks like you can view it in the full screen if I want to do some further uh, drill down for example I can see that in the portable PCs for the maximum sold categories product subcategory and I want to visualize I want to see in this uh, highest sold category how much were males and how much were females what were their income levels and in which country they were sold so I can click here and my all of the sub sheets will reflect those changes so I can see that in the portable PC subcategory 81% was bought by males and 19% were bought by females and the maximum sales of portable PCs happened in United States and the income category which bought among the males is H category similarly for females the maximum sales happened in the F category and the maximum sales happened through the channel that is a seasonal uh, seasonal category okay that's all I had from the data warehousing wish you a happy learning and if you like this just press the like uh, if you like my video just press the like button and subscribe to my channel